Aki's A-List. The top questions and topics floating around in Tyler Aki's mind. Are these really the questions that I was called here to answer? Aki's A-List on ESPN Chicago. That's right. Aki's A-List brought to you by Circa Sports Illinois. Download it today. Got some Bears odds here from Circa Sports Illinois. Tell me what you think. So uh, the Bears make the postseason. I told you that they're mostly a favorite to make the postseason on most books, and they want you to shop around. How about on Circa Sports Illinois? Yes, to make the postseason is still plus 105. So you can still get a good great value. deal. Really good value on Circa. So uh, check What do you that. have for uh, the over, the over-under? Is it, is it eight and a half there? What's the juice yeah, on that? It, it's still eight and a half, and the juice uh, at Circa right now, let me see here. To me, let's see. Win over under. Where is this? I had it just here. Because I would think, <clears throat> even though plus 105 is pretty good value, over eight and a half, if you think they're going to the postseason. It's minus 160. Okay, so it's still, that's, that number's going to go up. Uh, what do you, uh, offensive rookie of the year. Here's a good one. Like Kayla Williams everywhere is the favorite to win offensive rookie of the year. I think you're still getting pretty good value with him at plus 165. Okay. So you can still get Caleb Williams at plus 165 for Offensive Rookie of the Year. I think that's very good value. Download uh, Circus Sports Illinois today. What do you got, Tyler? All right. So Dansby Swanson has been activated off the IL. He will be batting eighth and playing shortstop. And it got me thinking a little bit about Dansby's early returns on his contract. And remember, he was the Cubs prize signing a couple of off seasons ago, signed a seven year, $177 million deal. That's the 26th highest paid player in all of baseball right now. You look at the numbers last year, he won a gold glove. He was had a 100 OPS plus, so it's right on the average mark there. Did yeah. he win also not just the gold glove? Was he the winner of the, the like, platinum glove? I don't know if he, he won the platinum okay. glove. I'm I looking at his baseball was. reference, and I don't see a platinum glove on here. Okay. Um, but it's been a slow start for Dansby so far this season. He is the second highest paid Cub in franchise history. Based off of the early returns on Dansby Swanson, has the, he been worth the money? It, Last year, he hit 22 home runs, drove in at 80, hit 245, had an OPS of 744 and a war of 4.8. I, I, that's, a, that's a higher war than I anticipated. That's probably because of his the, defensive prowess. The plus 100 being right at average is, is not where you want him to be. Um, uh, I, I think yes or no, yes and no, and here's why. He's been disappointing in some regards, Tyler. But again, like we shout and we shout and we shout that we want the Cubs to spend. And if we don't, so if they, if we say he's not worth it or he, you paid too much for Dansby, who were you going to spend the money on it? So, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. And we can shout, hey, spend money, spend money, spend money. And then now all of a sudden we don't like who they spend it on. What was the other option? Correa. I know Correa was the other option. And there option. was one other. Well, a Trey Turner and Trey uh, Xander Turner. Bogarts. Trey too. Turner, Remember, there was a right. class Bogarts. of four. Right, and Bogarts uh, has done well, hasn't he, with the Padres? He played okay last year. Remember, he moved to second base, too, though. Okay, and they needed a shortstop. Or I guess he played. He, I mean, he, unless... he moved to second base this year, and he's he's had a shoulder injury this year. So He's gotten off to a really slow start this year, okay. for sure. I, 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 I'm I'm st- I'm still fine with it. I'm fine with it. How about this? Will we be, as Cubs fans, will Cubs fans be more satisfied or less satisfied than the highest paid player in Cubs history? That's Jason Hayward. More satisfied. Yeah, I would say more satisfied. Unless you figure in the pep talk that won a World That's Series. That's part of it. Jay Hay was a gold glover too, wasn't he? Yes. I mean, oh, had, yeah. So, I mean. Multi. I, I think this is an incomplete, isn't it, at this point? I mean, in your evaluation, I, I, it may, if he has a strong second half of the year and is a better, has some better numbers at the end of this season than last, I don't think anyone thought you were getting, you know, one of the top was, 10 he, players in the league. If I'm remembering right? correctly, uh, now, now the Correa 
deal was weird because remember he signed the initial deal what was it with the Mets I want to say backed out and then he failed a medical but I want to say based off of the initial deals that everyone signed Dansby was the least amount of money you want the you want some Cubs news too I was just gonna bring this up yeah do you got this I on, got this on, on uh, Hendricks yeah so uh, Craig Council has said that Kyle Hendricks will pitch out of the bullpen and will not start on Thursday. I was going to ask about Kyle Hendricks because TBD is what is listed as the Cubs starter for Thursday, which is where Kyle Hendricks lands in the rotation. I was going to ask you, is this something or nothing? But now that you see that he is going to come out of the bullpen, what are you making of this move by the Cubs? I don't know how this fixes anything. I don't know. Like, and so they're terming, according to Patrick Mooney, the way he phrases it, like you said, Thursday is considered a bullpen day. So, okay, he was supposed to start, and if he's going to pitch out of the bullpen on Thursday, he still may pitch on Thursday in what's considered a bullpen day. So if he comes out of the pen in the third or fourth inning on Thursday... And Are we playing word games now? Is yeah, that what we're doing? If, if he gives games. up runs, does it matter when he's pitching? If he's not effective, he's not effective. Whether he's and like this is not something he's ever done before. How is not making him start a game and giving him a role that he's never ever done going to change what is hurting him? And throw him out of his entire routine as yeah, well that I he's been know. doing for the better portion of what ten years. Yeah, I would be I would be more than a little bit surprised if this turns out to be a positive that all of a sudden he becomes an asset in your bullpen. Are they giving this time? Is this just another way that they're giving giving this a few more days to sort of bake? Like, what and, are you trying to salvage at this point? I I, I don't know. I don't know and. You know I love Kyle, and again, I heard a lot of talk today about, and Cap was, was saying, you need to do this res with respect. I get it. Of course you should need to do it with respect. But look, you traded Rizzo. You, 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 didn't, you traded Chris Bryant. You traded Javi. You've traded all the World Series, guys. You decided not to tender or, or sign Jake Arrieta. There's no more of this left. You you didn't sign your manager. You let go of your manager that won the World Series for you. Theo has left the building. What are you holding on to with, with Kyle Hendricks? He's a fantastic guy. He's got an ERA of 10 and a half. Um, well, I think it might be a, a situation where... Inning, you never know when you're going to need innings. And at this point, because injury, you know, pitchers get injured so frequently throughout the season. And you have him on a deal where you can't, you're, got, you're on the hook for it no matter what, right? right so right. this might be just a situation where worst case scenario, they're looking at him like, you know what? When we're being blown out, maybe you're going to have to soak up some innings on the roster. Looking, which, which is not. No, know, it's I not mean, what Kyle wants, right. but the reality is no, if, you're the, like, if you get into a situation where you find yourself down five or six runs early, that might be the spot where you say, you know what, Kyle? You're but getting paid. That, but isn't that, Jeff, an opportunity for a young guy to get some work? I mean, I was gonna say, like, to Kyle. I don't know. Like in a baseball season, though, where every inning is precious when you're in those higher leverage situations, like is he better than your worst bullpen arm right now when everyone's hurt? So guys like Palencia's out. Um, who's the other kid that uh, they got from the Dodgers? Yancy Almonte. Almonte's out. So is he better right now with all those injuries when they could use some innings than their wor worst arm? Like. Would he be a difficult thing to get adjusted to because he throws the patented slow ball? So your starters are coming out throwing 95, and then all of a sudden there's Kyle chucking it at 87. Who, who, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> who, who's throwing it at 95 with the Cubs starting rotation? Yeah. Doesn't Brown? Well, Brown's not in the He's starting not rotation. Starter. Nobody in the Cubs. Like, Shota throws 92. So then Steel the, the, throws 92. So then the old, you know, <laughs> hey, you'll have them on their the fronts of their toes isn't going to work with Kyle. I, I don't think anything's going to work with Kyle. Like, yeah, he's the worst pitcher on this team right now, starter or reliever. The way that this season's gone. Just, but I'm telling you, I just look at him as a guy who, you know, because he's got a guaranteed contract and, and you're paying him no matter what, right. that especially now that they've expanded to that 26th man on the roster, I just wonder if he'll be the guy who has to soak up the innings when they're getting crushed.
But would you rather have that done with Kyle or you pull up, I'm not saying you pull up like Kate Horton, but you pull up some arm from AAA to be sure. that guy for you. I right? don't know. I think when you have a guy that when you're just losing a game that is basically like you're chalking it up as a loss. But my but how goodness, how many happen? I was going to say, like, you're not if you're burning that guy's arm. Yeah. And you're just burning Kyle Hendricks. Exactly, arm. because you have to pay him. Well, here's hoping you're not, you know, or and maybe, maybe he finds something in the pen where he can work his way back into some type of, you know, guy who you would trust down the road. But. You're paying him, so you might as well, again, you're, you're always looking for arms because that's the thing. If they, you know, DFA him, I would, guarantee, I would bet you that some team in the majors will pick him up because he's somebody who you might use for innings down the road. You wouldn't, you know. Are they, are they putting him in the pen, and are they trying to give him one more start but not against Atlanta? Like, is this, are they biding time to get Atlanta out of town, and will they give him one more try but against an easier team. But what would that, what, what would that prove that, yeah. to you? Like that, hey. I, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to rationalize. Trying to find a spot for Kai? Well, no, I know. I'm trying to rationalize why they're putting him in the bullpen. Yeah, I don't know. Because ultimately, it, like, if that's what you're doing with him, then he can't be a part of a playoff roster. Well, not now. He can't be a part of any roster the way he's pitching now. Maybe Meller's spot on. Like, this is mop-up duty. Whether you're up by a bunch or down by a bunch, here you go, Kyle. Which, which is kind of, you know, cold for... But he, listen, he's I got know, the guaranteed got contract, I, and I, I don't know. know where you would trust him in any other spot unless you, like you said, Sylvia, you're look, looking, you're going to have to cherry-pick opponents, and I don't know if he would be... Because he's never going to be able to be on a set rotation if you're just looking for the weakest guys, you know, the weakest teams in the league that you can have him go out and try. But then you don't want to lose those games either. Do you really feel good about sending him out against bad teams? Kyle, we're going to throw you against the White Sox, the A's, the, the Marlins, Marlins, the Rockies on the, the road. Rockies. Uh, he's that guy. You're that guy. We're going to create a spot in the rotation. He's, you're going to be the, the Rockies, Marlins, A's, you're telling me White Sox guy. He's juice box Hendricks? Yes. He, he's, he yes. gets a turn? Yes. You're giving him a turn in an apple, in a, uh, What's worse? Orange, an orange slice? What, what, would be more, what would be a bigger kick to the nuts? Would it be giving him the ball with a nine-run lead or a nine-run deficit or actually giving him the ball and say, hey, go get those White Sox? And, and Kyle Hendricks won the pennant for you yes. against... The Dodgers in game six against Clayton Kershaw, and he started game seven of the World Series for the Cubs and pitched great. They do have the Cardinals this weekend in St. Louis, and that and they've been awful this year in terms of hitting. Well, there you go. Kyle Hendricks Day. I, it's, That's and the then they get the White Sox on uh, for a cool. two-game series June 4th and 5th. That's the equivalent of T-ball, though, where the yes. kid gets tagged out and you let him run the bases. Of That's course. what I'm saying. Yeah. Juice box Hendricks. <laughs> Except if that kid was owed $20 million, $25 million. But at this point, it's a sunk cost. Yes, it's right. I mean, you can't worry about that. You move on. Right, you have him to stink or you don't have him to to not stink for the same price. I would would agree with you guys if you were overflowing with arms that you needed. But again, like in baseball, you're always looking for healthy arms. Yeah, I know that. But there's better arms in triple. There has to be better arms in triple A. Well, I mean, don't they have the second highest rated farm system in all yeah, Major yeah. League Baseball? Well, Kate Horton so. is, is Kate Horton still throwing well down, his, down there? His, he, he, he got, he got uh, moved, moved up to AAA a couple weeks ago. His velocity has been down a little bit. Oh, no. Not like not like a dramatic, but it's been down a little bit from last year. Who cares? Bring Phil McCracken up. He's probably got better stuff right now what's, than Kyle what's, Hendricks. What's he rated? I don't know, but he's got to be rated higher than Kyle right now. Love Kyle, but like, what are we doing? What are you doing? They haven't been that team, which is weird. The Cubs haven't been the team to hold on to the guys as part of their championship core. They kicked them all out. I know. That's they just why like, this one's odd. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Hey, you're. Maybe you're, that's you're why. You're all gone. Maybe they feel like, again, because Mellers is like, all those guys were on the cusp of getting paid, right? They wanted to get rid of them. He's a sunk yeah. cost right now. Maybe they think that there's a way to fix him at some point yeah. this season. Oh, Wilson, you you keep giving hugs out? We don't want you either. Right. Wilson, Javi, Look Rizzo. what they did with Jason Hayward, too. They told him, all right, go away. Yeah, for a year. They paid mm-hmm. they, they paid him to play Again, for the Dodgers. Yeah, absolutely, but none of those guys were pitchers. And I just think they look at their roster right now, and, and they, I don't think they have any solutions 
down at AAA where they're like, we need these guys up because, I mean, you tell me. You guys watch them closer than I do on a day-in and day-out basis for every inning. I don't feel like the Cubs have a whole bunch of solutions in the bullpen. No. I would think that's based on the text I receive from Sylvia on a daily basis. Jesse's offering us his services. Do we want to pop him on here? Sure. Only if you can tell us about his dreams. Yeah. <laughs> no dream talk. Didn't make any sense anyway, really. I just let's ask him like what is the what's the end game here? What what is their what is their What are you doing? What's the make grand it make plan? Sense. Yeah, what's the grand plan? Is the grand plan for him to pitch well out of the pen f- for a couple games and to give him another chance f- in the in the starting rotation? I feel like I've been pulled back into the the Ryan Pace Matt Nagy whirlpool oh. of Oh don't don't make it make it make sense. Don't say that. Well, but, like, just, like, didn't you constantly say to yourself, I don't understand what they're doing? Well, the same thing happened with Nico. Like, I didn't understand, and I ripped the White Sox for doing this. I I think it was earlier this year. With Aloy? It was Aloy. Yeah, I think it was Aloy. Again, a hamstring injury. You know a hamstring's going to be a minimum of a week. No question. Minimum of a week. So what are you dicking around with? With him off well, the IL. Horner, well, Horner plays balls out at all times, right, too. Right, right. And running is a big part of his game. Yeah. Range is a big part of his game. So what are you screwing around with him with not putting him on the IL? Plus, your lineup is bad to begin with offensively. You need another offensive player in your lineup. Doesn't Hendricks hit the ball pretty well for a pitcher? Can he play second base? Can he get his spot started? Stop it.